I want to only get a categorical assurance from the government as to whether the government will take measures to ensure that all these villages which are now without electricity because of damage to the transformer will be restored at the earliest. And these earliest will be when? <coughs> Time. <coughs> uh, Mr. Speaker, sir, I would like to briefly submit and participate in this very important motion tabled by the Honorable Member from Fulbari. Uh, Mr. S.G. Estimur Momenin. The motion is this House to now <coughs> discuss the style and functioning of the power department. It's a very vast thing, but then let me be brief in my submission, Mr. Speaker, sir. I would like to uh, come to the point, uh, keeping in mind the mess in which the power sector is today in the state of Meghalaya. Everybody is affected. Everybody is talking about this. Everywhere. Whether it is in my constituency, whether it is in Chief Minister's constituency, everybody's constituency. This is something which is visible before everybody's eyes. So I'd like to know from the government, what is the government doing to ensure that the villages which have been deprived of the power connection because of damages to the innumerable number of transformers are restored in time. Keeping in mind the kind of bitter experiences that the people are being subjected to go through. Whether we are talking about smart classroom, whether we are talking about various other public service delivery system which are completely dependent on power sector. Therefore, Keeping in mind this whole indispensability of energy to make things happen in this modern era, I think what is required to be seen as a response from the government is one thing. I would like to know from the minister, as of now, in respect of every respective CNRD blocks, how many villages are without electricity supply? I talked to some of the engineers, some of the officers from MECL to understand as to why some of the villages like Sulguri in Southwest Garuls, Chondonpara in Southwest Garuls, and 52 other villages within the subdivisional area of Garobada, MEPDCL subdivision. 52 villages are without electricity. When I tried to know from the officers, I was told that they don't have money to get the transformers which were given for repair. Is it a fact? And if it is a fact, then how, who is going to make payment for the repair of those transformers? And in absence of payment, how is it expected that the people should be bearing the brunt of this complete incompetence of this particular sector? Now, <clears throat> this, when it uh, gives us, you know, when it, this whole situation provokes us to think and be analytical about the factors leading to this kind of situation, we have only one conclusion, that the MECL has been mismanaged. And there was a demand from all concerned, including political parties, to see that whether there are alleged irregularities and alleged corruption in power sector particularly in MECL. A commission of inquiry has been instituted. We want the report. It is binding on the government to table any report submitted before the government after a commission of inquiry is instituted. Why has this report been not tabled? So it must be tabled, number one. And another part is, now, <clears throat> regarding this installation of smart meters. Now, <clears throat> when we looked at to understand the magnitude of burden on the finances of the MEPDCL vis-a-vis -vis the installation of the smart meters, the pricing that has been fixed and awarded to Satnam Global and JPM Group seems to be highly escalated. Therefore, I want a clear-cut reply from 
the Honorable Minister in charge as to what was the exact price per meter that was met, the, the price at which these service providers were paid for. The Satnam Global and JPM Group in respect of the purchase of the and installation of the smart meters in households across the state. Another important part is the generation part. Now, we expected that the Ganol hydroelectricity power project should be commissioned. And by now, it should have been able to further add on the generation capacity of the generation companies. What has happened to this Ganol power project? I would like to know from the Honorable Minister in charge power. The total tender value at which the project was awarded to the builder, number one. And number two, whether subsequent to that award of contract to the contractor, there was an escalation, keeping in mind both the time overrun. There must be some cost overrun. And if so, what is the cost overrun and the honorable <coughs> member? Take a seat. It's already three o'clock. Yeah. Like to, no, so let, no, one minute, one minute. let these informations be given to the let, house. Let, let me give the and room. subsequent doctor, to this, doctor, please. I just want to know how long will it take? So six minutes. So now it's already six minutes. And to extend the time. Um, Keep some time. I would let like, me but let, not me, too let long. me complete my submission. But how long will it take, doctor? Another two minutes, three minutes. Make it within three minutes, please. And I will I will raise only some few points pertaining to Ganol Power Project and one or two issues on. I understand that this this uh, business is uh, very important. This motion is very important. So uh, that's why I would like to understand from the our Deputy Chief Minister also that how long will be the reply. We would like to dispose of this motion today. So I would like to know how long will it take. Uh, we have Mr. a motion tomorrow also, so maybe yeah. a few more points you can raise there. Uh, yes, Mr. Speaker, sir, since uh, you know the issues is more or less specific to the concerned concerns, though I may not be having the detailed materials with me, but whatever points raised, then I will. Uh, so I think hardly it will take for me 30 minutes, sir. 30 minutes. 20, 25, 30, 30 minutes. Okay. Okay. So maybe three, four minutes you can take, and uh, I will again extend the sitting of the house till this motion is being disposed of and that also after till the deputy chief minister completes his reply so you may continue uh, mr S speaker sir <clears throat> so in respect to this ganol hydroelectricity power project this is the first ever conceptualized initiated power project for garo hills so after the completion of the project, keeping in mind the cost burden that is being passed on with alleged manipulated revised estimate, I repeat, with alleged manipulated revised estimate, I want the government to come out very clear on what is the projected revised estimate and the resultant burden on the tariff and therefore what will be the levelized tariff of this Ganol hydroelectricity power project once it is commissioned. And in addition to uh, this, Mr. Speaker, sir, I want to only get a categorical assurance from the government as to whether the government will take measures to ensure that all these villages which are now without electricity because of damage to the transformer will be restored at the earliest and these earliest will be wet. 